My name is Jane Lewis and I'm a research associate at the Department of Music at SOAS, University of London, and at the Institute of Arab and Islamic Studies at Exeter. Jane, you've got this amazing archive of radio programs from Iran with both music and poetry. How did this archive come about? What, what, were these, uh, what was this music and poetry played on? Well, this was an archive that was a, a series of radio programs that began in 1956 in Iran. And the uh, inventor or the original producer of these programs was uh, Dawood Pirnia. He, was, uh, he came from a very um, a famous and aristocratic uh, background um, uh, of public service and uh, his family, his mother's side, uh, to the Gajar royalty, and so he's a very well-known and um, uh, very prestigious figure. And he came on the scene at a time when the Persian music was uh, in a decline. Um, uh, very popular pop music from um, uh, either Turkey, India, Arabia, and, and, and the Western allies who had occupied Iran during the Second World War had completely, was overrunning the classical Persian tradition. And uh, he and his other friends uh, who were of uh, the intelligentsia were very concerned about this. And they began this program uh, which they called the Eternal Flowers of Persian Song and Music. And in Persian that is? Gol uh, Hai Javidan. Right. And, um, and this program, uh, they had the best literary critics of the time and the most famous uh, intellectuals would come on and they would give brief biographies or brief you know talks about a particular aspect of one of the famous classical Persian poets and then the uh, the poetry would be sung by the best uh, singers of the time accompanied by the most famous and most accomplished musicians of the time and uh, and declaimed by some of the best uh, uh, voices and declaimers um, of the time and this became an amazing hit and also it was the first time in Persian um, performance that you combined declamation with music so in other words, of course, you always had singing with music, but not declamation with music. And this was a completely new idea to compl uh, to have uh, declamation and music, and it uh, and it enhanced the appreciation of the music. And and the program was also part of a. Um, a flowering of Persian identity which Absolutely. in a sense had been lost during Absolutely. the war years. Yes, well during the war years and then um, and then you know the, the repercussions after the war years of the fact that you know the country was taken over and uh, uh, and then there was a very weak central government after the war and then you had the um, the Mossadegh crisis where you had the overthrow overthrowing of the democratically elected prime minister and so everybody was the whole national identity was in a state of uh, schizophrenic kind of limbo almost and uh, this was very worrying for the for for a lot of the you know uh, uh, lovers of Persian culture and the intellectual society intellectuals of the society and they wanted to make sure that their Persian culture was not lost uh, both the music and the literature and uh, and so they all got together and and they put this and it really and now when you when I do interviews with the musicians uh, the famous musicians of, of today like Shah Jalian or Ali Zadeh or Mohammad Reza Lutfi or any of these famous musicians of Iran today um, they all say that this program uh, it may have had its faults or shortcomings but it certainly saved our music and it was a, it was an island in the middle of a rough sea that uh, that kept our music for us and and the poetry and, and also and the radio station was the national radio the national station, radio station. Un under the shah yes under it was the national radio station under the it was the the government radio station and uh, broadcast from Tehran and, and then eventually you know by the mid by the late 60s you had regional radio stations too but in the beginning it was just Tehran broadcast only from Tehran and then eventually you had radio stations in, in most of the major cities but um, uh, so this uh, program began out with the book Golhai Javidan which was a very serious um, uh, and intellectual program um, and then they decided to broaden it and include um, popular ballads. 
uh, both uh, traditional popular, popular ballads and, and uh, ones that would be written by modern poets, uh, but based on the traditional classical Persian uh, themes. And, uh, and so then they created the Golhai Rang Rang, which means uh, multicolored flowers. And it had ballads. It had the it had the classical singing. It had the declamation of the poetry, and it and it had the musical solos. But in addition to that, um, and then they had uh, uh, two or three other programs which they made. One was based mostly on Sufi literature, and then one based on uh, folk uh, tunes, and another one which was introducing individual poets. So they would have a short little biography of uh, of each poet. Um, uh, and then they would sing their their songs or declaim their songs. But in general, he introduced over 561 poets to the general public, which was about 85% illiterate um, at the time. And although Iran is a country of uh, of poetry and they, poetry is their passion, but still nobody could, you know, somebody who was illiterate probably could only name five or six poets. Um, and here they had introduced 561 poets from the 10th century to the 20th century. And uh, so, so they there had was, a considerable role in making popular yes, the, poetry this, popular. This tradition of poetry. Absolutely, uh, making it you know accessible and popular. And also there was then there was a huge uh, flowering of the editing and the uh, uh, and the publication of these poets. And every week, thousands of letters would come in from people requesting copies of the program, requesting something to come along, uh, come in again, and whatever. And, just piles and piles of, uh, of fan mail that we get all the time. And uh, uh, so it was amazing. It, everything would stop. People would make sure that they were at home to listen to these programs. And they, you know, the, their traffic would stop. Everybody would go home and make sure they were there. They would be able to listen to these programs. It was really a major um, a part of people's uh, life, these and, programs. And the person who was responsible for getting the program off the ground, did he last for the entire... No. Uh -huh. Sorry, Mr. Albert yeah. Pierniere started the program in 1956. And he continued to, to direct the program. And he it was really a labor of love for him. He never took a salary. He, did, he volunteered the whole thing. And he would even uh, bring food from his house to feed everybody. He really treated it as his sort of like home gathering almost and was you know uh, he really uh, created an atmosphere among the musicians of of complete com camaraderie and love and and respect and he continued to do the program till 1967 when he had a heart attack and and he was not well and so he retired from the radio and um, uh, and then for a few years it was sort of uh, run by a committee of poets and musicians and whatever and then finally in 1972 Hushang Ebtahaj who is a very famous uh, uh, poet in Iran, one of the major poets of 20th century Iran. Um, he took over uh, and, um, uh, and he uh, changed it in a way. He put all of it into one program called the uh, Fresh Flowers or New Flowers, Golhai Taze. And also, he was also responsible, at that time in Iran, you had a movement, a musical movement, which was called the Return Movement, or the Bozgasht Movement. And that was returning to the Gajar period um, compositions and way of playing, rather than um, in the 20th century, you had the musicians like um, Rula Haleri and Tajvidi, and these people who introduced harmony and orchestration into Persian music, which was something new for them. It came from the West with notation. And so these people, uh, along with Mr. Eptahaj, um, he facilitated this uh, movement of the Bagash by giving them access uh, on the radio. And people like Mohammad Reza Lotfi and Ali Zadeh and Shah Jadian and these people, they were very interested in reinvestigating the uh, the older traditions before the introduction of these Western elements into the into the musical canon, and the, you hear you see, you see this in the Golhai Taze programs.